in this video I wanted, I wanted to tell you about one of my all time favorite Australian action flicks Dead End Driving like I said I ordered this because I saw a cool dude aka Sean C. Phillips discussing, uh, discussing this as one of his favorite uh, horrors of the 80s I don't really consider this horror. It's more of an action sort of the 80s, but I still like it anyway. I still like Kudu. It don't bother me. But it, it takes place in the future. I want to say the 90s, or I think it was the 90s. I could be wrong here. I know it takes place in Sydney, Australia. But it's about a. Uh, The character of Jimmy Krabs, played by Ned Manning. He's this teenager whose brother owns a 56 red Chevy. It's a cool Chevy, too. So, uh, at the beginning, he jogs and he fights off these, uh, I guess you can call them call, car boys or whatever, these gang members. And he takes his uh, girlfriend, Carmen, played by Natalie McCurry. I found out, uh, I, looked, I looked up the actress online. She died of cancer in 2014. Very sad. But uh, he takes her to this drive-in. They watch a movie, and while uh, Jimmy and Carmen was having sex uh, when they were getting busy, the police they stole the. It's not really his car; it's his brother's car. He took uh, the '56 Chevy without his brother's permission. But they take uh, the cops take his real wheels, and so he goes to complain. Complain. Uh, he goes to complain to a uh, Thompson. Uh, He's not only uh, the guy that works at a drive-in, he's like the head security guy. There. When you watch this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, he tells them that they're stuck there and they can't never leave. Uh, they're on like probation for three months. I, I forget mainly the plot, but I just know that him and Carmen, I say they broke the law and they have to stay there for three months. They have to stay there for three months until the government decides... Uh, where they can go or whatever. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's a really cool film. It mostly has a uh, racism against Asian people, and uh, I remember the scene, like almost the end of the movie, where Jimmy, they call him Krabs, I call him Jimmy. Jimmy, he talks to these kids, these gang members he doesn't really like, and when this Indian guy walks in to take a pee, they start being racist to, to them, towards them. But Jimmy stands up for the Indian guy. Uh, Jimmy's a kind-hearted guy. He's kind of the hero of the movie, but uh, he really can't. He, he he wants to be a fighter, I think, but he really can't fight. In one scene, he fights at the drive-in. He gets his ass kicked, but he gets the victory at the end against one of the game members, his tallest uh, boy. I like the scene where he's training the... Uh, I think at his brother's place, and his brother tells him that you're too small, you can't fight, you're too small, or whatever. But Dead and Driving is really a cool uh, 1986 Australian action flick. Uh, I heard this was Quentin Tarantino's favorite movie as well. I mean, I love car chase movies. Even though it does mostly, the film takes place in the drive in, it's really a cool tr car chase movie. Uh, it was directed by uh, Brian Trichard Smith. Hope I pronounced his name, the last name right. Brian Brian Trichard Smith. Trichard Smith. But it, the movie is just about him and his girlfriend. They get stuck in a drive-in, not just overnight. They gotta stay there for. It was supposed to be three months, but it, I think this movie takes place like two or three days. Like where uh, Jimmy he befriends Thompson, the head security guy. He offers him a beer, but uh, Thompson he sort of lies to him about uh, helping him getting out. So Jimmy takes matters in his own hands. Like he steals his a, a new set of tires and he steals his engine. But uh, Thompson, uh, I think, steals his engine, but you don't see it on screen. But Dead and Driving is really a cool flick, a cool Australian eighties flick. You gotta check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And like I said, I mostly watch old movies. I want to get into, I can't get into the new stuff right away, but that's just me. But I just want to keep the old 
nostalgic of feeling still alive. So that's why I talked about these old movies of mine, even ones I haven't seen yet. This one is really a cool flick. The price of admission is the rest of your life. I know it looks and sounds like a horror movie, but it's really mostly an action uh, thriller. I like that girl in the bikini, that uh, metal bikini, if you can see it with the horns sticking out. That is so cool. But I'm, about to, but I'm about to end this video, and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. I just need more subscribers. Anyway, take care. Have a good night.